All right, so this is the uh, Baco or Baco, whatever you want to say, Baco Engineering 160 PSI uh, delivery pump. Delivery means that when I want it to deliver water, it will deliver water to me. Now, I had to put this on foam with foam, piece of wood, and mount that to a brick. This thing is so loud that inside a house, it gets pretty loud. So I'm gonna start it with the valve open and that will have just a little bit of water going to it, right? We'll get some water running to it, right? And now I'm gonna plug in the pump and then you're gonna, I, I probably won't be able to talk over it, okay? So I'm gonna plug it in and then I'm gonna seal up this side over here so that it starts to fill up the accumulator tank and you'll hear the difference, okay? You ready? I'll try to talk over it so you can hear the difference in, in volume. So, that's running, but that's running not under pressure. Ready? Now I'm going to put it under pressure. It's pretty loud. You hear that? Now that's vibrating through everything as well, okay? So I got it up to 40 psi. This thing is fast and powerful. So there you go, you guys get an idea of how loud that one is, all right? And that's your Baco engineering pump. Works quick, fills up fast, powerhouse, definitely. You can adjust it up on the front here, you can adjust your pressure switch when to switch on and off. Okay, so these are the 12 volt uh, Amazon, real cheap, uh, pumps to buy. This says 116 PSI, 165 foot. I blow all these up mainly right up here in where the pressure switch is. I seem to blow them up always in here with the back pressure. Um, <laughs> you're going to hear the noise. I've tried everything in the world and spent more money trying to make these things quiet um, than getting the pump that I use now. So I'm going to turn on the water. I'm not going to put this one on for long because it's so loud. I don't want to get in trouble. Um, so let me get a little bit of water going here. Alright, we got some juice in there, right? I'm going to plug it in. And I'll try to talk over it if I can. So now I'll plug over the pump. Now, that's without the pump even having any pressure on it. Now I'm putting pressure on it. Boom, I blew it out. Yeah. Stuff is no joke, it's so loud that I can't do anything else. That's how loud that pump is. Whew. Okay, so this is the Seaflow. Same thing, little guys. A little bit more heavy duty. And got some water going. And I'll plug her in, you ready? Another loud one. No, that's not even under pressure either, okay? A little bit quieter than the other guy, but there you go, that's the start sound, it gets really deep on the power there. You get the point, loud and noisy. Loud and noisy, and obviously I saved the best for last, and that would be my pump that I got made. So here we go, and I've got this one hooked up to the accumulator tank as well, so you get a whole drive of the noise and the sound and everything. So, I'm going to start the water. Alright, we got water running through there. Now, I'll plug it in. And it's plugged in right now. <laughs> I don't know if you can see it moving, but let's put pressure on it, because that's when it'll make the most noise. So, I'm going to close this off over here. There we go. Now, my pressure is quickly increasing. And that's running, people. And that is the difference in all those little guys compared to the pump that I had made by Aqua Effects. Um, the only thing you have to watch out with these pumps are, if you listen, the vibration goes into the tubing. Hear that? That's because it's hitting the side of the bucket. So when you set up this pump, just make sure that you either have your 
uh, tubing is, you know, screwed down with a clip onto something or it's floating free so that you don't get that. Another great thing is the Max is 200 PSI on this. It'll go more than that, okay? Um, another great thing about this pump is that you can run it in series. So if I put another one of these pumps before this pump, um, it will double on the flow. So the amount of flow that gets added to it and the rate of pressure will increase if ran in series. The good thing about buying an extra one of these pumps and running it in series is that when you have two pumps, if one dies, the other one will still keep working in the same way and you don't have to remove it or add it to your system. You'll just have two of these pumps set up side to side. But that's it. Um, see how we did on the pressure here. I mean, that's, that's how the accumulator tank works. See all that stored energy in there? That's the stored balloon energy pushing back out right there. Because if I shut it off, or I just unplug it like that, now you can see, now it's just running, that's the pressure coming out of the back of the tube. I mean, what am I saying? That's the pressure coming out of the bladder tank right there, see? So that's all nothing, that's just free energy. Well, it's energy that I already put in there, okay? So if you imagine this hooked up to your solenoid, that's what your tank is doing. It's still going all, it's still emptying. This is still just emptying out whatever was in the tank coming out at the set PSI that I have it at, all right? But yes, our pump kicks freaking ass. It's awesome. But you gotta know how to use it and you gotta know how to work it. All pumps are different. It's not a delivery pump, it's a booster pump.